I am Khalif Browder. I was arrested in the spring of 2010, at age 16, for a robbery I did not committed. Then I spent more than 1,000 days on Rikers waiting for a trial that never happened. During that time, I endured about two years in solitary confinement, where I attempted to end my life several times. Once, in February, 2012, I ripped my bedsheet into strips, tied them together to create a noose, and tried to hang myself from the light fixture in my cell. In November of 2013, six months after I left Rikers, I attempted suicide again. I retreated to my bedroom with a steak knife, intending to slit my wrists. A friend happened to stop by, saw the knife, and grabbed it. When he left the house to find my mother, I tried to hang myself from a banister. An ambulance rushed me to St. Barnabas Hospital, where I was admitted to the psychiatric ward. In my medical record, a social worker describes the suicide attempt as serious. In the spring of 2014, I was released from St. Barnabas Hospital Psychiatric Ward. Then one afternoon, at my mother's house, at about 12.15 p.m., I went into another bedroom, pulled out the air conditioner, and pushed myself out through the hole in the wall, feet first, with a cord wrapped around my neck. My mother was the only other person home at the time. After she heard a loud thumping noise, she went upstairs to investigate, but couldn't figure out what had happened. It wasn't until she went outside to the backyard and looked up that she realized that I, Khalif Browder, her youngest child had hanged himself. I was locked up for a crime I did not commit. When you go over the three years that I spent, in jail, and all the horrific details I endured, it's unbelievable that this could happen to a teenager in New York City. I didn't get tortured in some prison camp in another country. It was right here, Khalif Browder.